Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Fairlight 2, A Trail of Darkness on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released by The Edge in 1986. I think it only came out on the ZX Spectrum. There's no title screen, there's no nothing. Q is backwards, A is forwards, P is left, L is right. I've just worked this out. Space is jump and M is sword. I'm running this in 128K mode, but um, it doesn't appear to have any sound. But it's a, an exploration 3D isometric game. I wouldn't say it's in the park of... Uh, I've got a gameplay of the original, I wouldn't say it's in the sort of same ballpark as Night Law or Alien 8 when it comes to 3D graphics, but it's not bad. The sound, however, is incredibly, incredibly limited, as you can hear. I walk into these things, I've had a quick go to work out the controls. Yep, this is what you get for a 1-8K game in 1986. It might, to be fair, to be just a 48K version, but I'm running it in 1-8K mode, because I assume, why would you not have decent stuff? I don't know how we pick up stuff. The, the graphics aren't terrible. I guess it didn't come out in the Commodore 64 because it struggled with isometric. Look how slow I am now. Which I... Oh, because of that. Because there's a fuck-off big wolf. Which I, I am hitting now. You might be able to see that. But yeah, that slows me down, doesn't it? So, apparently, it's more of the same in the first game, but much, much, much bigger. So the story goes, you... I don't know who you are. Um, you are your Isvar. You successfully um, found the Book of Light in the first game, but you delivered it to the wrong people. You gave it to the bad guys, and so the the um, the world is in darkness or something or green. The world is in green. Uh, I I don't know. I would have preferred to have a, like an ultimate play the game kind of style or night law or pentagram, even though that she was gold, where you would have effects around the uh, the outside, like most three of the isometric games on the spectrum, and. Uh, a door because look you can go into it that room or that part there in any part of that screen but maybe put a door in or some gaps in like woods or something because this looks really really empty got really good reviews can't go into that screen there come on is far sort your shit out now in the top of the screen you can see a whole bunch of stuff i think oh life force that's obviously me fighting fido took a bit but um a lot but it's, it's bland. I don't remember that. I remember the first one having more background graphics, whether you were more sort of in castles and stuff like that, walls, um, bricks, anything. I'm inside, like this. This is a bit more like it. Just a shame it's so quiet. Uh, I don't know what. I, Edge did re re produce, release some good games, to be fair. Which door did I go in? Not that one. That's I'm inside now. So, yeah. So, like I said, if... Right. I killed him, but I took an absolute... Punishing... A pun punishment in the process. I'll learn to talk in a minute. I'm still just getting used to the fact that I'm called Ispar. Locked. Ah, oh, there's some dialogue then going on. Locked. Oh, and he regenerates. Of course he does. Yoink, 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 yoink. These are noises you make. In order to vanquish the darkness. Run away! Run away! I'm not very good at fencing. Or exploring. So this is just... Oh no, it's a nice... Oh! I mean, it's ambitious. Because look. I could... I was just going to say, am I on a... I'm on a cliff. I don't know if that's a bug or that because I was fighting. Something fell down here. I don't actually know how to pick it up. But yeah, so I was on a cliff and I guess I could have gone up to the left. I honestly don't know. And I don't know why this didn't start on a title screen. I'm sure someone can let me know. Maybe I'm loaded the wrong side of the tape. But to be fair, plants kill me. No, not to be fair. But plants kill me. Um... It was the only ROM I saw on the website. Right, we're going this way. And we're going up. 
could have been oh there's a wolf around this somewhere you can see a little bit through the middle gap of the trees don't know why I'm pointing, you can't see any point. But that's why, there you go, that's a good early warning, uh, you know, system. Which is, the game's gone to shit performance. Um, there's a wolf, although it's, it performs all right there. Maybe it's because there's a lack, lack of trees and shrubbery. I know when I go outside in my garden, there's lots of trees and shrubbery. I move at one third the speed. Did I see anything? Right, wait, we're back to where we, yeah. I want to go up that yellow hill. Are they bricked off? So it doesn't even say log, it just he just bricked it off. That's a fire hazard. Right. Uh, was this where I was? Can I go this way? No. It doesn't seem to want to fight you unless you go out of your way. Okay. Oh, we're back here. I'm sure there would have been maps for this, like in computer and video game not computer car crash your Sinclair, ZX Spectrum stuff. <laughs> I run out of magazine names. This is good. This is the problem with isometric games. Also, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to jump on that. That is no, it's not a means to. I've I got to fall off the top when I'm up there. This key, key alignment layout, whatever it is, is shies and balls. Right, I'm running in circles. No, no, you don't. I've angered him. He's just got little man syndrome. I've had a lot of bosses that have had that problem. I find when they try and tell you off, just look above their head. <laughs> it really winds them up. So, don't... you got to press forward to uh, joust. Um, oh. But you got to be careful. I can move rocks. Um, you got to be careful, I guess, on this, because you don't want to fall off. This is the other thing. With no sort of line-up around the, the outside of the screen, you don't have any idea if it's bad to go that way. I'm going to assume, does this take me to... But that platform, no it doesn't, of course it doesn't, why would it? Yoink. Anyway, since there's a complete lack of music, enjoy the soothing sounds of traffic from outside my house. Ooh, hello. Maybe they sacrificed a lot, I'm on a ship. Ah, uh, yar, not ah. Uh. I want to make someone walk the plank. Look at my health. Right, so you can kill them, but there's nothing to stop you taking an absolute pummeling. Yeah, maybe it took, you know, this, this kind of downgraded. Maybe I should try and hit him. Have I got any way to interact with people? Anyway, I'll say that again. Took a downgrading because they made it so big. Or tried to be so sort of adventurous. Oh, no. No, don't jump. Just run away. It's like being attacked by a fucking angry Teletubby. Oh. Get some of that in your life. Yar. And piratey stuff. My favourite part, pirate. Johnny Depp, of course. They should make Amber. What's the name? Heard? Uh, walk the plank. Just saying. There you go, I've automatically aged this video. Who cares? That's my role. So, so yeah, it's just too bland. Some of it, I mean, I like, I, I do like isometric games. That's a boarding plank, they're not an actual plank. But it's too Bland, bland, oh. Why can't I? It's locked. What, you won't let me off the boat? Oh, that's a bit shit, isn't it? Don't tell me I've got to live the rest of my days out on this boat. Are we moving? Are we in the water? Are we going somewhere? Can I go anywhere in Shah? La la, whatever his fucking name is. Doesn't like me, does he? I, I should probably die, because i got a horrible feeling I'm stuck on the boat. But are we moving anywhere? Are we going from the land of Fairlight to some other land? Controls are very, very finicky. Can I fire? No. Why is it locked? How do you lock a bloody plank? That's a lot of bollocks right there. Ah, ah, I forgot, 18 left. Right. We'll try the plank one more time and then we'll let him kill me and I'm going to go somewhere else, but... Underwhelming. And the graphics are pretty underwhelming as well. I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure it's just the same engine as Fairlight 1. Really? You've locked me on a friggin... But oh! And the pain is over. 
That was weird. Obviously I'm missing a massive trick and I've never actually played Fairlight. I've played Fairlight 2. I've played Fairlight. Uh, I quite liked it. I didn't know what I was doing. It got epic reviews. Apparently this got good reviews. Oh. See now at least you can see on the left there that there's a drop. So obviously I'm on a cliff or something. Shall we, shall we test that? No we can't. The shrubbery. Shrubbage if you will. Uh, nope. There we go. Off the cliff. Yay! Wendy Akabla! Right. What is that? I don't know, we haven't got time. Right. Where haven't I gone? It seems to me that I am stuck in a very small loop. Come on. No. What's this way? Him. Go this way. There we go. Ooh, is that a door? Yes. Look, new stuff. Yay, new stuff. We like new stuff. Isvar. That's your real name. Oh, red garish shit. They always do. I don't understand why they use this colour uh, when they do isometric games. It's just... And it's not because of how I'm capturing it. It just looks awful, I guess. Am I still alive? Oh. I, uh, am I in hell? Let's try hitting a barrel. That appeared to do nothing. Oh! I got a knife. No. I was going to say, do I jump on the barrels and make a walking br walking bridge? No, because I can't get up there. Can't get out. Can't get out. Don't leave me. That's just a bit shit. No. Really? This game's just full of friggin' dead ends. Yeah, there we go. Of course. Because of course. Oh no! I came out of a cave. Is everything gonna be red? You got red on you, points the quote. Why can't I. Do I push the rock into the other screen? Alright, what the fuck's going on with this door? You know those doors that are like not doors? That's what this is. Ah, he's a bigger rock, isn't he? Oh no, I may have, I may have, I may have overcooked that a tad. No, I can't do that. Oh, hang on. No, no, it's a flo it's a floaty door. See? Oh, I may have boost this. Look, we're solving puzzles, Polly. Yay! I achieved something in Fairlight 2. Now we can all give up, safe in the knowledge that I did something. Why am I pressing jump instead of fire? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Not just jump, I'm pressing another button. Stop being re I'll take that. So presumably we have to retrie re retrieve, retrieve, retrieve this book of light. Without getting deja vu from the first game, which I've got quite badly. Basically, once you're inside, whoo, it's all right. Slow down. Once you're outside, it's shite. See that rhymed. I don't want to kill the Teletubbies. Now I'm fighting two. Look, I'm double, I'm double wielding. One of you has to die. I really don't care who. I'm pressing the right fire button this time. I'm running. Cue the Benny Hill music. Only they're both faster than me. Look, I'm very slowly. Go oh my God, Life Force 1. Very slowly getting away. I slow my talk. What the hell is that? It's got ambition, all right. It's just underwhelming. Granted, I don't know what I'm doing. Who? I'm just running for doors. Yeah, you know, isometric. It's all right, but there are a lot better looking isometric games with kind of. Wait, what? I'm going this way again. 
that's Doctor Who shit right there. We're gonna take this door. Oh no, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming. Bollocks. Well, that's all I can take. Fair light two uh, on Sinclair ZX Spectrum. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, uh, I almost choked then. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. I'm sure this should be a title screen and, you know, I'm sure people can tell me exactly what it is I've, I've bossed up here, but it's a bit crap, isn't it, really? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.